All right guys, today I am going to be doing a more in-depth overview of my Lush shower gels, and I'm also going to be including my liquid bubble baths in this video. Um, I don't have a lot of the liquid bubble baths, but I thought, you know, I'd put them in with the shower gels. So, um, I have a decent amount of shower gels. They are uh, one of my favorites after, you know, like my bath bombs and my bubble bars and things like that. So, I'm just going to go over all of the ones that I have. And, yeah, so let's start with, I'm just going to start picking ones up and we'll just talk about them and all that jazz. Um, some of them my boyfriend uses more than me. This would be one of them. Um, Dear John, this one here has um, just kind of a woody, they have it described as a woody spicy scent and he really does like this one and I mean it's okay but it I prefer like the more sweeter kind of smells but I do like uh, the spicy woody scents as well but this one um, he uses more than I do. Now as far as like a spicy kind of scent that I really do love, Lord of Misrule obviously and you guys I heard Lush has out on the UK site they're selling a Lord of Misrule body spray and oh, I would die for that but like we can't buy it here in the US like we can't get it shipped here because of just I don't know it has something to do with um, not being able to ship um, the liquids through through the mail I guess it's you know not legal or something like that so you almost have to like I guess find someone to do it um, but if I could get my hands on that, I would so hard. I would love to have this as like a perfume or body spray. Um, it's definitely one of those scents that is just so like warm, spicy. It's got that um, patchouli kind of smell in there. And oh, it's just, it's amazing. So I have this very large, large um, bottle of this. Um, I don't know if I have a smaller one or not. I think we used our small bottle. Um, so yes, love Lord of Misrule. That is a shower cream. So some of these are shower gel, some shower cream. Um, the difference between a shower cream and a shower gel, if you're not, if you're not quite sure, a shower cream is just a little bit thicker of a consistency than a shower gel. Your shower gel is a little more on the I don't want to say watery side, but the, the creams are just like a lot thicker feeling. I don't really have a preference. I'm just more about the scent, really. Um, next, I have a ginger shower gel. They have this described as a spicy floral, and it smells good. I like it. It's not, it's not one of my favorites, but it's definitely a scent that I do... I do like, um, just not one that I, I go for like regularly or anything like that, but it is really nice. Um, one of my favorites and like how I was saying about how I like sweet scents, um, Snow Fairy is definitely one of those that I absolutely love. It's just gorgeous, sweet, bubblegummy, just super duper duper sweet smell. It smells so freaking good and there is shimmers in this. You kind of have to shake it up a bit to kind of get them to go throughout the actual um, shower gel itself uh, but it is just super duper nice so I love that and I always pick it up when it comes out um, in the winter time and that's another one that they made a body spray for on the UK site that I would love to have. Um, another one that I absolutely love is the Yuzu and Coco shower cream. And this one here has um, just this wonderful, like, chocolatey coconut smell. It just reminds, to me, it reminds me of summertime and just warm weather is what it reminds me of. I think it smells so stinking good. So that's definitely another favorite. Um, I got a bubbly shower gel. This one my boyfriend really likes. It's very like orange citrusy to me. Um, definite orange scent in there and 
It smells really good. I, I like the scent of it, but again, it's more one of his favorites, more one that he picks up and uses more than I do. So we have that one. Um, I got a yummy, yummy, yummy shower gel. This one needs shaking up a bit. It's starting to separate a little. Um, this one, really like this one. It's got a sweet strawberry kind of smell. Just very yummy strawberry scent. I really do like this one as well a lot. Um, I love just sweet fruity smells, sweet smells, and <clears throat> spicy smells. Another sweet one that I like is the Yummy Mummy. And this one is different from the Yummy Yummy Yummy. It's kind of like tongue twisters here. Um, but this one is more of a vanilla kind of scent and it's just it's very sweet again um a sweet scented shower cream which i love and to me it's more on the the vanilla side whereas um yummy 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 is more of a um fruity kind of berry strawberry side so i really like this one and i love the purple color of it um let's see uh, Prince Charming, I have, this is a shower cream, and this one is a pomegranate vanilla kind of smell, so again, with the vanilla, I love vanilla scents too, so this one is on the sweeter side as well. And this one, I definitely really like too because it's sweet. <laughs> um, next, I have Grass, and again, you can probably tell like each one I pick up which one I'm gonna like more, which one my boyfriend's gonna like more. So obviously he is going to like this one a little more. It is, it's made with green wheatgrass juice and bergamot and it does smell like grass. It's like a fresh kind of greenery type of smell. It smells good, don't get me wrong. Um, I do love these other Lush scents. They're just not ones I you know, gravitate towards. So this one, he usually picks up more than I do. Um, and same with this one, Happy Hippie. Um, again, I'm not like super into the real citrus scents. And this one is like a, a grapefruit uh, citrus smell. It smells great, but I just don't gravitate towards those overly citrus scents. So um, that's more um, his thing. Um, next we have Tramp. Now we both like this one. This one is also kind of like that woody, spicy kind of smell. It's a very warm scent and I love those warm kind of smells. And I know he likes this one too. This one's definitely one we share the love with. Um, this is two hearts beating as one. I really like this one. It's floral, it's jasmine. Um, I love, I love the floral scents as well and I really like the smell of jasmine. This one, it smells absolutely beautiful. Next we have Karma Shower Gel. This is one we both like. Um, it definitely has um, the patchouli kind of scent in there with like lemongrass and it's got that, that spiciness. I have this in perfume form and I absolutely love it. So that one we both really like. Another one that I love is Rose Jam. This is one of my all-time faves, and it's like a very sweet rose smell. Um, just, it's perfect. It's like the perfect sweet rose scent, in my opinion, and I just think it smells absolutely beautiful. Next, we have Dirty Spring Wash. Now, I love the smell of this. I think it smells so good, but... I don't like it for myself. I want my boyfriend to smell like this. So he uses it and I absolutely love it. And I want him to use it because I want him to smell like this. It's got like a mintiness to it, um, spearmint, but it's also got um, menthol crystals in it. So it's got this like 
it's just this crisp, I would describe it as like this crisp, clean, just, I don't know, it just smells so good. It's so hard to describe these, um, but it just, it smells awesome and they totally like need to make this in a men's, men's cologne. Um, obviously us women could wear it as well, but it's just something that I want him to smell like kind of thing. It smells so, so nice. So we have that. Um, let's see. I have, I actually have three snow fairies. I have another one and then if you guys have seen my old snow fairy, I still have some of that as well. I did a, um, an old snow fairy shower gel demo if you guys haven't seen that before. Um, it's in my playlist. Um, next we have the Prince shower gel. This one here is made with orange flower, neroli, mandarin. Um, let me sniff it. Sometimes I forget what things smell like. This one is more him. Um, it's got a citrus note to it, but it's also got um, some of that warmness to it as well. It smells really nice, but it's just something that, you know, he is going to pick up more than me. Same with this one. This is demon in the shower Oops. and this is hold up okay yeah this one is like a minty apple kind of scent is how i would describe it it's a very nice green color um he he really likes this one and it, it smells good but again it's something that he would pick up more than me um, now one that I love, let's get back to more that I love, this is Twilight. This, everyone knows Twilight, everyone is familiar with Twilight. It is just the most perfect lavender, sweet vanilla lavender scent I think ever in existence. It just smells super duper 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 fantastic. So this is definitely another favorite of mine. Another favorite of mine that came out for Christmas this year is Santa's Christmas. And this one has just like a sweet cola, a sweet kind of vanilla cola smell. Something that I noticed with this one while going into the Lush shops is that the ones in the Lush shop aren't as red and vibrant. They're almost like a pink color. So I'm not quite sure what's up with that because one of the things I love about this is the vibrancy of that red. It just screams Christmas and this one is just amazing smelling and he really likes it as well. The scent. Another one that I'm loving for this Christmas is the Berry Berry Christmas. This is beautiful with all of the shimmer inside and it just has, it's a beautiful berry smell but to me it reminds me almost of like a Christmas tree. It smells like berries and Christmas trees to me. It's like the epitome of Christmas in a shower gel. So I love that one too for this year. Um, let's see, we got a, oh, this one's really good, Old Blue Skies. This has the patchouli and the spiciness, the cinnamon, everything of the warmth variety that is so gorgeous, including the color of this, and we both love this one. Next I have a B Electro shower gel. Love the color of this. This one here has a citrus note to it. It smells like grapefruit. It's got that citrus grapefruit, but it's also got a floral in there. There's jasmine in this, so it's like a jasmine grapefruit mixture that Sounds like a weird combination, but it goes really well together. It is definitely one that I didn't think I was gonna like, but I do really like that. Another one I like is Black Pearl, and this one has the lavender, it has the the floral scents to it, and it just smells really lovely. It smells, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like how you think it looks. Like you see this gray, you see this name, and it's not how, like seeing that, I wouldn't think it smells the way it looks kind of thing, because it smells a lot more florally and just kind of just, you know, just pretty smelling, if you get what I'm saying. Um, to me, like this, I would think this, just by the look of it and the name, like maybe it would be a little more like, 
piratey and just like, you know, more of a woodsy, spicy kind of smell. And it's just, it's not. It's more of like the floral variety, but it smells really, really nice. There's also chamomile in this, and it has, it has a tad bit of what I would describe as like a tea smell. Like it smells a little bit like, um, a loose leaf chamomile tea um, with like a hint of like a floralness to it. I think it smells really good. Um, let's see, I got a Fruity Beauty Shower Gel. This one smells fruity. It's definitely a fruit scent. It's a little bit on the just tropical fruit side. Um, I think it smells good. It reminds me of, this is another one that kind of just reminds me of summertime, and maybe it's just because I got it around, you know, when the weather was warmer, uh, but it's definitely one that I would rather use, you know, when it's like hot outside kind of thing, because that's how I am with like a lot of my bath products. Like I like to use certain ones when it's cold out and certain ones when it's hot out. So next there is a Slammer shower gel. And this one is super citrus as well, which is something that he um, would pick up before me. It's got some lime in there and um, there's honey too, so it's got like a sweetness to the citrus. It smells good though, but again, it's more on the citrus side. Um, next, I have a Yuluru. This one here also has um, a citrus scent. It's got the lemon and the orange. It almost smells to me like, a bit like orange juice is how like I feel I would describe it. It kind of looks the same too. It's an orange in color. Uh, but again, citrus, so more something that he would pick up. Now, another one that I like is the Ghost Shower Gel. This is floral. It's got the ylang ylang, it's got that jasmine that I love, and it's just a gorgeous floral scent. I really do like that one. Um, Plum Rain. This is also a good one that I really like, and this one smells fruity. Um, it smells, it pretty much smells like a sweet plum. It's made with actual plum juice and it's just that really nice, I think it's got like a warm kind of smell to it as well, like a, a warm plum smell, if that makes any sense. It smells so good. So that one, we have a freeze shower gel and this one he really likes, it's got, um, it's very, very minty, um, peppermint. Um, it's something that it almost feels cooling on. So it's a nice one to use in the summertime when you're hot because it just feels so cool on the skin with like that um, mintiness. It's the invigorating mintiness on that one. Um, next, this one was from Easter. This is the wash behind your ears. This one has the jasmine, gardenia, definite floral scent to that, and super orange. This was like really festive for Easter time. It's just a really nice floral scent. Next, we have Assassin, and we both like this one. It's just, it's got the spiciness, it's got the patchouli, just a woodiness to it, very warm smelling. So love that, especially now that it's winter time. Um, love the warm scents. Um, next I have the Olive Branch. This one they have kind of described as with citrus notes, but it's got like such a sweetness to it. I really, really do enjoy this one. So if I were to pick up a citrus scented product that has the citrus notes in. The olive branch is definitely one that I would choose because it has such a sweet overtone to it. It's not just in your face kind of citrus smelling. Next I have an Aura Suavis. This one is a little different. It has um, the spearmint in, so you're getting that mintiness, 
If you hear clip clapping in the background, it's my dog walking across the kitchen floor. Uh, but it's got the mintiness in it. It's got like sage in it. So it's kind of got like an herbaliness to it as well. It's a little um, unique of a smell. I know not everyone is a huge fan of it. I think it smells good though. I like herbaliness to like the, the herbaly smells to my shower gels. So I think this one is um, pretty decent. So next, I have da -da -da, 29 High Street. I was waiting forever to get this into my collection and I'm so excited that I have it. Um, I just, I love this one. It's, it was supposed to be kind of like the the scent was to be described as like the what the original lush shop like the embodiment of the smells i guess from like the original lush shop like it literally if we can look down here on the ingredients list it literally has pretty much like every kind of floral scent in here you have the ylang ylang you have the jasmine, you have the tonka, you have the gardenia, like all of those wonderful scents that make up so many Lush products in the scent of the 29 High Street. And them all together, they smell fantastic. It's a beautiful floral scent. I really do like that one. Um, let's see here. We have a Sonic Death Monkey, and this one, <laughs> this one smells a little weird. It, they have it described as coffee and chocolate with a um, citrus kick. To me, it smells um, like chocolate oranges. It's got that orange chocolate kind of smell. I think it smells really nice. It's one of those kind of like... Um, I don't know how I want to describe it. Just like kind of very creamy smelling. Um, just like a creamy chocolate. I don't smell the coffee a whole, whole lot in it. I smell more of a chocolate orange in the scent of this one. I think it smells good. Um, we have a back for breakfast shower gel. Did I? No, that was Slammer. I get Slammer and Back for Breakfast a little, like, confused uh, for some reason. But this one, again, is um, a lemon and grapefruit, so it's definitely like a citrus, kind of like one that you could use, a shower gel you could use in the morning. It's just kind of got that zingy um, citrus scent that's kind of going to wake you up kind of thing. So it smells good, but again, it's, it's very, very citrusy. I have... And it's raining men shower gel. Absolutely love this. Reminds me of Honey I Wash the Kids is made um, with the honey, but it's got that sweet, sweet honey scent. I think it smells so fantastic. Yeah, I could, I could slather that on my body all day long. It smells so stinking good. I love my sweet smells. Okay, let's see. Is that all of my shower gels? No, I have two naked shower gels. These are my. My only two naked shower gels, and I have not used these yet. I need to do a demo and review. I got Berry Berry Christmas, and I'm really excited to try these. So I have Berry Berry Christmas as a naked, so that's the naked form. And then I also have, see I bought that one. And then obviously my boyfriend bought this one. This one is the bubbly, and because he really likes that scent. And I already described these scents, but so you can kind of tell the people that we are. I like sweet glitter. <laughs> he likes the, the citrus a lot. So we got those. And then I have some minis, or I like to call them minis. They're just on the smaller size. And so I got a rose jam, which I already went over. I got a yuzu and cocoa. Let's see, I got a little Snow Fairy. I actually have another Rose Jam, so I have two little Rose Jams. I have a beautiful, and I really like this. I wish that it was still available. This was one that kind of grew on me. At first I wasn't, 
I wasn't like amazed by it by any means, but then it grew on me. This one has, it's got a citrus kind of smell to it, but it's more of like a toned down kind of citrus. Um, there's peach in here and I smell the peach a lot actually. And I just think it smells, it smells beautiful. It does have a really nice smell. Um, next I have a little comforter and the comforter, I love the comforter bubble bar, don't get me wrong, but the shower cream was not a favorite of mine. I love the color of it, it was super pretty. This one needs shaken a little bit. But the smell of it just wasn't there for me. I just wasn't a huge fan of the shower cream comforter scent, but I have that, I need to finish it up though. And then I have Glog, and this one is an old one that I've had for a while that I've just been kind of hanging on to because I don't have any more. Like, this is the last that I have, and this expired in, what, when did this expire? December of 2011? Is that what that says? 2011. So this one is old, obviously. Um, it still smells just like how I remember. It smells amazing. Um, it's got that mold wine smell. It's the spiciness, the warmth. It just, it's like winter in shower gel form, in my opinion. Like, I, I want to smell like this all winter long. It's just a wonderful, like, it smells like something you could just drink, like hot. Like a, a hot, warm, mold cider on a cold winter day. It smells so stinking good. Okay, and then I have some liquid bubble baths and bath oils, so I'll go over those. Um, I have this huge thing of blue skies and fluffy white clouds. This is absolutely beautiful. It's like this most gorgeous blue color. And just a little bit of this like will turn your water color. Just this gorgeous blue. It smells just like the blue skies, fluffy white clouds um, bubble bar, um, which has that spicy, cinnamony, just beautiful, warm scent. And we both love this. So that's why we have such a big bottle because we fight over it. We don't actually fight over it. Um, another one, that has a nice warm smell is the smaragdine. Smaragdine. I don't know how to pronounce this one, uh, but this smells great. This though, this bubble bath is so much thicker. It's like this very, very, very thick bubble bath consistency. It's almost like it's almost like shower cream, really. And in its consistency is very, very creamy rather than um, liquid bubble bath. Um, but it's it's got like a green color. It's pretty. And it has just a very nice, warm, spicy, like patchouli kind of, there's peppermint in there, um, some lavender. It just smells so good. So we both like that one. I actually have two of those. This is the one that we do use. Um, let's see, I have the Violet Nights Bath Oil. This, oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. This one here has beautiful, beautiful violet smell. Lovely floral, the water, it, it leaves the water like purple. And since it's an oil, it's super duper duper moisturizing. It feels so good on the skin. So if you mix a little of this oil with like a bubble bath or like a bubble bar or bath of anything you want to, oh my God, it smells absolutely fantastic. Love that one. Another one um, that we both really like is the Flying Saucers Bubble Bath. We did already go through a bottle of this one. And this is a very sweet kind of smell. It's, it smells like a honey. It's got just a very sweet, like real honey kind of scent to it. It just is a wonderful honey smell. We absolutely love that one. And then the last thing that I have to show really, and this isn't a bubble bath or anything like that, but it's in the same container as my shower gel, so I decided to throw it in here. But this is the Wash Day Greens. This is a shampoo. And this my boyfriend really likes. 
and it has the peppermint in it, the um, menthol. It's got that just kind of mintiness type of smell, and he really likes that. It's like invigorating kind of, you know, on the scalp when you're using it as um, the shampoo, because you know, that's what it is. Uh, but it smells really good, but it's something that he really likes more than like I pick up. Uh, but that is everything as far as my shower gels, my liquid bubble baths, my shower creams, my naked shower gels. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down below, what your favorite shower gel is. Um, definitely, I don't know if I could pick a favorite. If I could pick a favorite out of all of mine, my favorite, my favorite, what would my favorite be? Oh my gosh, I'm putting myself on the spot. Um, that's too hard. That is way too hard for me to decide because there are so many that I absolutely just love. Um, Yuzu and Coco would be up there. Rose Jam, obviously. Um, Yummy Mummy, really love that one. And I love my Violet Nights bath oil. And yes, there's just too many <laughs> to name. Like I love like so many. Uh, but as far as what I love for him the most, like what I'm like, you know, you need to use this and you need to use it every day. Dirty spring wash, hands down. Absolutely love that smell on him. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this more like in-depth shower gel um, video. Like I said, uh, leave me comments down below what you thought, what, what's your favorite shower gel, your favorite shower cream, your favorite liquid bubble bath. Just let me know down in the comments. Um, if you're not already subscribed, just hit that button you guys and I will see you next time.